know, uh, you know, going into this preseason that you were just that you were going to get so many game reps and, and so many opportunities to kind of you know, show what you can do. It certainly seems like you played a lot. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't necessarily know exactly. I was just preparing as if it was a regular season game. You know, doing my studying and just carrying myself accordingly. What kind of what kind of feedback have you gotten um, from the coaches and whatnot as far as how these first two preseason games have gone for you? Um, I I just did some like self reflection. I, I have some stuff to clean up um, as far as like technique wise. That's the stuff I'm focusing on. Um, any praise, I accept it, but looking more so to uh, not be flawless, but uh, just perfecting my craft and working on it every day. Talking, talking about cleaning some things up, but the, the, the play against the Texans when you know Jordan got the strip sack, what, do you, what, what should you have done differently on, on that? Or what do you um, on that play? Uh, I should have probably took more of a, probably another a kick on that and uh, really squared my hips and uh, used my hands probably sooner. Probably would have definitely helped. Kind of put that on myself. I got myself hurt um, from that. So, you know, I think about that when I go out and play. Make sure that I'm, I'm, my technique is good. You've been here uh, a couple of years now. What, what's different for you, having been in the system, had some time to develop and, and to, to learn? And stuff? What, what's different than for you now than in the past? Uh, I think um, personally, I feel like football is a little bit like at the NFL level is a little bit more natural to me. I'm still learning every day um, and uh, learning from my um, um, older teammates, uh, my coaches, um, doing self-reflection. So I think the turnaround is a little bit more faster for me as far as recovery. i um, been working on finding new ways to recover like throughout the day so I can be prepared for practice and for game days. You've mentioned self-reflection twice so far. Um, is that self-reflection on how you played or, or mentally? What, what do you, can you um, get the Playing you know? mentally, um, playing and also the mental aspect of it, to keep my mind sharp while I'm out there. Um, so I'm just really keyed into any adjustments or anything that's asked from me. You know, in that self-reflection, do you look at this preseason period as, you know, impactful for your career, your resume, you know, when you only have so many limited practices left, you know, what do you think about daily every snap? Every snap, um, well, well, I, I kind of see it as almost if, like, you know, I'm playing a regular season game. Um, so preparation is the same as if it was the regular season. Mindset's the same. So any opportunity I can go out there and put my talents on the field for the team, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. And my mind is towards doing that. Where do you think you've come the farthest in terms of pass blocking? The, the furthest? Yeah, where do you think you've come since when you first got here to where you are now? Um, just really keying in the snap count. I think I've been, I'm still working on it now, though, but just keying in the snap count to give myself a little an advantage over the defensive lineman to get at least like a millisecond faster than him so I can really see what his next move is before I can do what I need to do. Is that a feel to the cadence, or is it actually watching the ball? Cadence. I would say cadence. Obviously, it's not the finish line yet, but do you like what you've done these first couple of games and the first, what, three weeks of camp or whatever it is? What do I like what I've done? Um, I feel like I still have a lot more improvement to do. Um, I feel like uh, um, I am improving, having some improvement, but I feel like I still need a lot more to work on. Not a lot more to work on, but I still need some little improvement as far as my game. And, yeah. Is there a thing or two there in particular that you're focused on? A thing or two? Yeah. Um, I would just say, like, in a wide spectrum of things, I just, there's things I can do better that I'm just learning from uh, coaches I know and some of my teammates. So. Um, scout team last year, who, who did you get the most work with? Was it Preston? Or most work with? Yeah. Uh, we say Rashad, Gary, Preston, and, and Sidarius, yeah. I assume that was really good work. Oh, yeah. I assume that was good work for you? Yeah, no, it helped, it helped out a lot. Um, 
with their quickness and speed and how talented they are, kind of like raised the level of uh, play for me to know like, hey, like, you know, if I'm going to be blocking these guys on Sunday, it would be a great time to really key that in during practice. And yeah, so that, that helped. That definitely helped. Anyone else in here? Sarah, you can go ahead on Zoom. Yeah, we just have one. Go ahead, Olivia Reiner. Yeah, actually, I saw on social media or on Instagram over the summer you posted about meeting with the Surinamese uh, ambassador to the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, how did that opportunity come about? Uh, and what did you do? And, and how meaningful was that experience? Um, it came about, I uh, met up with a marketing group called um, uh, Pursue Sports Group. And I went to DC with my mother, um, drove down from New Jersey during the off season. And I mean, yeah, during the off season and uh, met Ambassador Badri Singh. She's, um, I think, retiring. She's just recently retired. Um, but the opportunity was awesome. Sat down and got to speak to her with my mom and just learning more about the country. Um, I was thinking of possibly going to Suriname sometime next year uh, just to get acclimated with my heritage and culture that my parents uh, left for me and my sisters.